Let's do some functions. If we look at this table, we have our employees lined up here. Suppose I want to identify all of the, let's say all of the female employees who don't have health insurance. Okay, Maybe there's a, a women's health program coming up and we want to make sure they get notice of this, especially if they don't have health insurance. So we put my uh, function in here. We need an if. And I said, oh, I've got two conditions here, female and don't have health insurance. Both conditions have to be true. So I'm going to use an if function, but within that, oops, I also need an and function. The and function will check whether the employee is both female and lacks health insurance. So we'll make that happen. Let's see, the employee's sex, we'll check that first. That's in column C. So if C2 equals female, that's the first condition. Then you put a comma. And then the second condition I want to test is health plan. That's in column F. So if F2 equals none. And since it's text, we have to put it in quote marks, double quote marks. Those are the two conditions I want to test. So I put my emphasis, and that's my AND function. Now, AND will determine whether both of those are true. It'll return true or false, and then turn things over to our IF function. And our IF function will say, OK, if both of those are true, if the AND function comes out true, then I want to contact, put that in parenthesis area in quote marks, contact that person. And if not, if they're neither female and, and have health insurance or they have health insurance, then we just put a blank. Empty quote marks there. But have that, because if we don't put the quote marks, we'll end up with a big false. We don't want that. We end the parentheses. Things look like they line up. And we'll hit Enter. Oh my goodness, and look what happened. Remember, I only typed that formula in this row. But since I was right next to a defined table, Excel assumes that you want this new column to become part of that table and have the same formatting, have the same uh, alternating rows, and have the same formula, most importantly, the same formula in every cell. So even though those cells look blank, they have that formula. And look, it's automatically shifted down. C9 and F9, a relative reference, means it'll keep checking right down the row there. And so now I have my formula. And it identifies there's an employee who is both female and lacks health insurance. There's another one. McCorkle is female, has no health insurance, but it leaves out this one. That employee is female, but has health insurance. And this employee has no health insurance, but is male, so is not contacted. So the AND function returns only those two employees in the ones we can see here as the ones who are both female and have no health insurance. Using that AND function is how we make IF check two conditions at once.